must have ran a little farther than we thought. I thought I could hear him in the woods breaking some branches yet, but I didn't see anything in there. Matt's just down here a little bit. But man, there's a ton of sign in there. We're going to have to climb back up in here some afternoon, I think. All right, we're off the mountain again. No elk harmed, but we were close. We had one at like 40 yards. Rain delay. We just went for a town run, stocked up. Arnie Palmer's <laughs> salad dressing. All the necessities, Cheetos, Kit Kats, Cheez-It. Cinnamon rolls, suntan lotion. <laughs> <laughs> SPF 50, by the way. Mm -hmm. yep. It's the UV rays. Yep. They're bad for you. We got lots of sugar, so I've been lacking sugar. As you know, I forgot all my snacks at home. Now we're stocked. What else did I get? Ooh. Ice, sugary stuff. Yeah. Salad. I we got some salad. Yeah. We're gonna feed the rabbits. We can't kill an elk, so we're gonna try to bait in some jackrabbits and kill them, I guess. Bring something home. No. Plan is spaghetti in the tent tonight. Heavy downpour rains till eight o'clock. And then a light mist till noon tomorrow. But we're gonna give her tomorrow. The old towel is ready to go. <laughs> towel runs in anyways. Snow, sleet, hail, rain, <laughs> doesn't matter. Just gonna get her. All right, folks, we got issues. <laughs> we got a straight up meadow in our tent area. We'll leave the door, we're gonna have to move tent. Here we thought we we're gonna have this nice afternoon just chilling. Now we could play actual battleship in here. Look at this. Not good. Not good placement of a tent. And we gotta get everything out of here and get it all moved. Get our tent going. <clears throat> While it's raining and dark, it's no bueno. We're duck hunting. Whoa, I just about wiped out. <laughs> Your crocs are floating. Come on down. <laughs> Your crocs are floating. <laughs> they float. <laughs> we, gotta, we got a floater. We got to get this inside. Oh, God. <laughs> this is one of your insoles, I think. Oh, well, I got both of them. Here's your... Uh... Beautiful thingy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Oh, jeez. We got a pair of soles and a pair of cracks. <laughs> Here's your light. Don't leave home without it. Well, I guess we're gonna learn how to put the tent up again. I'm in the deep end down here though. Oh, grab it, grab it, grab it. Now I'm tangled up in the goddamn pine tree here. Oh, dang it. Clear? All clear. Straight across. I think I bent the sh shnikes out of that one. Trying to stomp it in. We better get an elk after this. Hell yes. Now we're camping in the North Country. Okay. Something all snarled up. Just had to scramble and move the whole tent, all of our gear. Now we're soaking wet. Everything was floating. <laughs> Matt's Crocs were floating in the water. <laughs> and his insoles to his boots that we have to wear tomorrow. So now we're stuck in a tent because we didn't want to stay in town because we're real men, right? But we're gonna eat some burgers and a salad. And that's probably about it for tonight. We could have stayed at a hotel cabin place that has a stove, a shower, a bathroom, two beds, a heater, AC, whatever you want, right on the lake for $60. No, making it just a little bit tougher. We're gonna eat and get some shut eye. Get up, do it all over again tomorrow. Well, the rain has subsided finally. You gotta check this out. <laughs> no bueno. But we just had what we think is a bull sound off right below our camp, so we're scrambling to get our crap together. Not sure if it's a human or not, but we gotta go check it out quick before we change tire. We just heard him bugle again, and he's on his way up the hill, so we're gonna have to go after him later, but we gotta deal with flat tire. Oh, everything's just been a mess since last night, but. You gotta have your key to open that thing. Is that the tube for it? No. All right, NASCAR pit crew, take two. We had to smash and break the lock because some idiot engineer thinks that this is gonna hold up in salt, and rain, mud, and dirt. Put a key and unlock it. Yeah. Next, we're gonna bring impact. That's it. Looks like an off-road Colorado tire right there. Yeah. I mean, I have zero college education. I would know in a second that that would not hold up. Buttholes. I promise we'll hunt an elk yet sometime. But we gotta take care of business first here. Matt is off to town to get the tire repaired. And I'm gonna stay here at camp and do some camp cleaning and organizing. He'll go hunt some elk, hopefully. Well, I got camp tidied all up. Had a little breakfast, made some eggs. Uh, no mat yet. Hopefully he's getting something repaired, I hope. But uh, yeah, we only got a day and a half left to hunt. We could maybe hunt Saturday morning for a couple hours before we gotta head out, but. Uh, uh, there's, I feel like there's animals here, but it's super frustrating. But we just got to keep after it, and hopefully tonight, hopefully that bull bedded up on that hillside somewhere up top, it sounded like. And hopefully, I'm going to walk down, I think, in a little bit and see if I can cut his tracks where he crossed the road going back up, because I know he was down in the meadow this morning. And I'd like to go down and see if I can catch his fresh tracks exactly where he crossed the road. Maybe we could figure out what trail he's coming down on, but 
I think uh, the game plan this afternoon when Mac gets back is just sneak up in there and do a little calling and see if we can't get him rousted up. But well, tires fixed. Matt's back. <laughs> Stuffing newspapers in his boots to dry them out. Thanks for the tip, Ralph. <laughs> and what do you know? It's raining again. Uh, kind of a brutal weather week, really. It's either super windy or rainy or hail. I don't know. Now we sit and wait again. Down to the road on our way back to camp. About a half mile or so. Yeah, maybe a little less, but dang, I couldn't take it anymore. My feet are just frozen. 
else that didn't hear anything anyway, so going back we're gonna make Skeddy tonight and grime in the bags and do it all over again tomorrow, last day. Last chance for romance. Ooh man, that looks freaking good. One last freaking fire them up and whack one, pack them out and go home. You think we could go chase that little guy over there? Up on top? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's a good plan. Camp Skeddy. It's outside. You know, yeah. it's they, work, they work pretty nice. The only thing Here, we'll get you guys on for the YouTube channel. We <laughs> gotta say something. Yeah, been on YouTube. Yeah, say whatever you want. They've been on YouTube. Oh, there, now you're on YouTube. <laughs> Cam camera lights, action, boys. All right, nice. All right, call it out. Angry out doors. Get them. All right, get them. That's a wrap. Day, what is it? Day six, huh? Yep. One more to go. Obviously we slept in this morning, but it's been like violently windy. I had to come in the woods just to talk to you because it's just so windy out there. It's probably, I don't know, 40, 50 mile an hour. And we we're gonna climb up to like 10,600 feet, but I don't know how you bow hunt anything in this kind of wind. It's insane. It just sounded like a train all night. In our tent, it was just howling. I probably slept about two hours last night. I just don't know how you hunt it. I mean, the wind's going every which direction. I mean, it's just craziness. We have had a rough weather tree trip, let's put it that way. And it's cold this morning. I bet you it was, I don't know, it was probably Low 20s last night, probably, but I don't know. We're gonna talk about what we're gonna do here, but I don't know. Our hunt might be over. I don't know. I just don't really see the point of hunting in 40 mile an hour winds. And that's down here. If we go up another 800 feet, it's gonna be way more windy up there. I don't know what to say. Pretty brutal. I mean, my hands are. My hands are cold and I've been out here for, I don't know, wind chill, I bet you it's 15 degrees. What do you do? We were talking to the guys last night. Uh, kind of wanted to give them a little, go oh, back in the woods. My hands are just gross. And I got wet boots to put on, man. Well, we talked to a couple guys last night uh, that we've been chatting with all through the week. Something uh, that I thought was kind of cool about positioning your camp in certain places and not knowing it, we set up our camp on a entrance way into another popular area that people drive down into it. And people, especially bow hunters, are really willing to share information. And I don't know how many, we probably talked to 20 different groups of people and they're willing to share what they saw and what they see, what's going on. So I think that's maybe kind of a cool thing to think about when you're picking out your camp spot is locate it where you can talk to a bunch of people, see what they're seeing and hearing and what's going on. Uh, yeah, but anyways, we talked to a couple cool guys we've been talking to all week. Uh, hopefully they're watching this on YouTube. Uh, they're from Minnesota. And we've kind of been chatting back and forth all week. And they've been kind of hunting our same area and we've been hunting where they hunt. And they, uh, they've been doing a lot more hiking in and stuff farther, but uh, we've been finding a lot of animals right next to the road. And that was kind of the quest of this trip for me, or theory, to figure out is 
you know, can you find animals within two miles of the road consistently and often? And it's been every single day we have encountered animals or seen animals. So from everyone we talked to, I think we did pretty well, but uh, yeah, I got to get back to camp, but just give a little shout out to those guys. Super nice guys. Hopefully we run into them again. If you guys are watching my YouTube, reach out to me and connect and we can keep in touch. So yeah, yeah, go back and see what the heck Matt wants to do. Well, I just ran out to the middle of the road, checked the weather, and sounds like the winds are supposed to pick up till noon. <laughs> oh, what can you do but laugh, but... I'm guessing we're probably gonna be packing up pretty shortly and heading out, unfortunately. That sucks. But, what do you do? You can't control Mother Nature. It's been a pretty awesome trip so far. It's kind of been rotten weather, but we saw some animals, heard some animals, got close three times, so all you can expect. My boots, I've been stuffing newspapers in them to suck the moisture out of them. They are soaked, yeah. soaked there's no way and bloody hell that I'm putting them suckers on I'll tell you that <laughs> if we're going hunting I'll be wearing my work boots like Matt fired up the truck <laughs> well we're Almost out of the back country. The old towel slipped off the side. Now well, we got a restrapper. Yeah, I was holding the bike up. Yeah, I guess we're off. She's a dragon, he says. <laughs> 